Yo guys, got an update video on the 1968 Cadillac DeVille. I'll drop a link to the original video we did on this down below in case you haven't seen that. But I think over 2 million views now, pretty wild. Anyway, we have a buyer lined up and a super interesting one. It's actually going to Drexel University in Philadelphia for their art program. Kind of a cool, cool thing. I don't have all the details yet. I'll hopefully have more for you. But uh, basically when the electric factory first opened, it's a, uh, a venue in, in Philly. They had a psychedelically painted Cadillac that was somewhat similar to this one, but they're doing some event where they need another Cadillac to paint with the same psychedelic paint job. And so this is gonna be someone's art project. And then it might go back to me when it's done. I, they might auction it off but they are gonna be the proud new owners of this unit. So let's go get the wrecker and see if we can lift this beast. That's gonna be a big ask. The ball's wrecker is probably gonna struggle. Let's give that a go. Hop over into my yard. Haven't started this in a while. So you got some spider webs on the side. She should fire right up. Oh, never mind. Clutch pedals going straight to the floor. And we get lucky, just top it off for now, pump it up. Usually clutches are, yeah, it's just empty and dark. All right, so I need say, uh, either a new sleeve or a new master. Or actually, I'm gonna rush to get out of here shortly too. So I got a limited amount of time. Did not plan for this. That's always how it goes though, right? Usually you can get these without having to crack the bleeder, but might not get lucky this time around. Get out of gear anyway. Okay. Now we just need a clutch. Uh oh. Oh man. The whole darn push rod just popped out of it, along with the circlip on the back. Okay. No, well, this isn't getting moved right now then. I only had like 10 minutes and me and Jen got ahead somewhere. You might be wondering why I didn't just drive it on over since it does run. But the auxiliary tank I was using for this is over on the uh, 1965 Larson boat right now. So that's not accessible. Figured a tow truck would be easier. Can't really get a trailer in his yard either. Got some parts on order. Revisit that tomorrow or the next day. Next evening that master cylinder's come in. I wonder if we just start this up in gear if we'll be able to cut that turn without hitting the tent. There she is. Oh yeah, this thing is crusty. As to be expected. Uh, I did order a slave cylinder too, but that's not the uh, next day. Oh, I'm still waiting on it. And see how they always get crusty on the inside of here? Well, I don't know if it makes a difference or not, but if I'm putting the new one in, I like to pull this boot back and shoot some silicone grease back there. It's non-reactive, so it's not gonna cause the rubber to swell or anything. Hopefully not. I hit it with a little paint, right? You know, otherwise they just flash rust immediately and look like garbage. You see, I painted this one a long while back and it's already starting to rust, but that's okay. Looks perfect again. How about it? Just the master cylinder didn't cut it. No, oh, slave cylinder came in next day. Uh, crawl onto here and drop that in. I've been getting a bunch of rain today, but it seems clear right now. You'd think I uh, would put this on the left, you know? New part matches up with the old. Did have to swap over the bleed nipple and the handle on the opposite side, but check out the hose. This is, uh, somebody welded the end onto it. Look at that. I don't think I've ever seen a, that's not a brake hose, but a, a clutch hose a line welded like that. I mean, I'm good with it. I got her installed and bled just in the nick of time. Good pedal now. As it started raining. So hopefully it clears up tomorrow and we can grab the Cadillac then. Ground might be a little soft at that point though, but we'll get it done. Seems pretty firm over here. We'll give it a go. 
And we sh really shouldn't use the sling since this is an older, heavier car with a heavy duty front bumper and that's the way it's designed. It also distributes the load on the truck better. But I want to use the wheel lift because that'll put a ton of load on that frame repair we did on this and uh, you know, it'll be a good test for it. pretty but it's doing it uh, except for this turn radius we got to push her out a little bit more because came real close to hitting that and I guess we'll throw some straps on it Based on how good this felt behind the tow truck, I would drive it down to Philly. We would probably hook it up from the back with the, the sling, because otherwise it'd burn up the transmission or something. Or if we were leaving it hooked like this, we'd push these arms in tighter, although they're not bending as much. But uh, down in the city, I've heard stories they can be really tough on tow trucks. And yeah, it's better to just, it's safer to do with the flatbed. Since this is being parked on the street, uh, he told me to disable it completely. That way, uh, you know, somebody can't hook a battery and feel to it and drive away. I'm gonna take the carburetor off. I'd also like to open this up, see what's in, how it looks inside, maybe even keep it as a spare for the airboat. It's a Holly on there now, but I kinda, I don't know if it's a great fit for the, the airboat uh, Caddy engine. And of course, they're welcome to grab the carburetor back off in the future if they, if they want. But they said just disable it completely. It's an art project, right? So, no big deal. Gus, we going for a car ride? You're gonna sleep the whole time, aren't you? Yeah, this dude sleeps like 18 hours a day. It's ridiculous. I got some good sniffs. Smell that mulch? Oh yeah. It's good stuff. Yes, the old Tundra 3.4 putting in the hard work. This thing tows like a dream. It's just so smooth, you know, especially ever since putting the airbags in the rear. Oh, it's great. Way there, huh? That tells you where we are, 
right. Navigate by scent. The helm way. So this is the art man, Derek, who's Hello. the Hi, Chris. proud new owner of the proud 67 Cadillac. Sharuk, my, my, my partner in this. Yeah, we got uh, Sharuk, the, the guy who took care of business too. Do you guys want it backed in right here, right? Yes, that will, but yeah, that will be great. All right, we got plenty of space. They had the Drexel University police block the road there. Chris has got to get it in there without taking out the sunlight. Got it. Well, now that we got it here safely, what, what's the plan with this, Derek? So, Chris, we're really grateful that you brought it. And it's really exciting. So one of our students, Benny Jimenez, is uh, going to come on site shortly. And Benny is going to paint it psychedelic. So right. originally this car was, it was it, this, is a, this is a replica of something which was at the original electric factory in 68 when they had a 1969 Coupe de Ville limo, the bigger fins, <laughs> and it was psychedelically painted and it had a sign on top saying electric factory. That was the car that the Grateful Dead drove around Philadelphia in. <laughs> nice. So uh, I don't think we're going to get any members, the surviving members of the band to sit in this one, but you know, I'm sure they'll appreciate seeing some, some echo of the original. Yeah. So this is going to sit outside the exhibition and it's going to have a sign on top so the man you just, who was just here for a moment ago, Ed Sawara, who's actually also a student at Drexel, but is coincidentally Professor of Graphic Design at Harkham College, is going to be creating the sign for the top, which will replicate the original sign. It'll advertise the exhibition. Very cool. And then well. if you post this on, if you post this between, you know, between, before the end of the year, then anybody who sees it, come to the show. Heck it's on yeah. Drexel University. Yeah, From I will drop them. September in. the 22nd to December the 30th. Perfect. I'll drop that info down below. And uh, yeah, so that's the end of the 67 for now. We'll see. I might be buying it back off for them or something, depending on how the paint job comes out. And uh, yeah, back on the road we go. That went smoother than expected. He's like, yeah, where's the fun for me, though? I guess we'll have to bring you somewhere, boy. Yes, mister, we're gonna make a stop for you too. Bringing him for a walk down here at the Linden ramp. You can see at high tide, look how much crud floats up the Delaware River and stays on the ramp. Looks like tide's rolling out now, but geez. What do you think about this, Goss? Mixture of trash and wood and junk. See some cigars in there. It's like, phew. You wanna drink some of that water? No. Yeah, low tide's much better. Oh, I see some huge floater logs out there too. Just a hull splitter. Gus is like, this is my kind of place. There's all sorts of trash and junk in here for me to eat. And oh, it's hot out there. You had enough of that, huh? Sticky. We're back home, let's take a quick peek inside of this carburetor. Uh, you guys remember how, how good that thing ran? I mean, it idled fine, accelerated, but 
I'm not sure if this will work on the airboat either because the airboat's got a, I believe, a 472 motor or the 500, and you know, this is off 429, so I'll have to look up the, uh, the port number and see if it's the same carb on those. Really, I like to always clean the outside of these before opening them up so you don't get all that crud inside, but in this case, I uh, don't really care too much. Well, that's as far as I gotta go for now. We can see, definitely needed the carburetor clean because those main jets have a bunch of crud laying right next to them. So that's probably uh, probably why it was running a little rough under full throttle. You see the two-stroke gas I was running in there. But yeah, just needs a little spit shine, clean up, and this thing's good to go. All right, fast forward about a week. I was just talking to Derek. He sent me a few photos of what the caddy's starting to look like. I'll overlay those right now. Uh, but that's not a completed product and if you'd like to see the completed product then check out their exhibition I will drop a link down below to all the information on that uh, along with a link to nononsensenowhow.com in case you want to check that out uh, but it's going to be September 22nd to December 30th I think it's like Wednesday to Saturday me and Jen do plan on going to visit it at some point maybe uh, at the end of next month or into November but you know it goes till the end of the year so that's pretty cool <clears throat> we'll make an announcement on that uh, on the main channel uh, when we're gonna shoot over there you know in case maybe pop into some of you guys there really starting to get things organized and together in this garage and got nice high shelves all the way around doing a little maintenance on the Africa twin right now oil change and yeah feeling good about it it's 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 feeling good to be able to work and have everything organized it's just it's been way too long also been getting ready for the Phoenix trip out for the duct tape drags They'll maybe see some of you guys out there going to be bringing some hats, the larger logo ones, giving away some of those there. I think I only brought like 25 or so, but hopefully run into some of you guys there. And I guess that's all for this one. Uh, with these videos on a second channel, you know, we do a lot of review stuff. This, this channel used to be completely all of reviews, but now I put a little bit of everything on it. Some people might say, oh, why don't you put this, this Cadillac video on the main channel so you can keep it all in one place like we did the first Cadillac there, video there. Uh, but I, I try to not put short videos on there. I try to only, you know, half hour, 45 minutes and above. Most of you guys like the longer format stuff. So that's that main channel is reserved for really, let's call it 25 minutes and above. And I think this one's definitely going to fall short of that. We didn't do much. Uh, so anyway, appreciate you guys tuning in to all the videos very much. Hope to see you out the duct tape drags or maybe down at the electric factory exhibition. We will close out with some more clips of Gus and Turbo since I know you guys love them too. And see you guys in another video very soon. No nonsense, no how. Oh, that's yours? Can I have that? Look at these two lazy animals. He just popped his head up. He was napping, but he both just laying out here doing nothing, living a good life. So jealous. Oh, he says, well, let's play. Come on, let's do something. You're only doing nothing because you don't want to do nothing. I'll just play with myself then. Maybe Turbo will play with me. Oh, he's trying to knock the food out of it. He's so smart. You trying to get that piece of nugget food out of there? Okay, all right, let me see it. Come here. See, I'll get it myself. I don't need you. I'll just lick it till it disintegrates. Yeah, you know what I'm doing.
every time I come over, he's like, no, I'm not being lazy. Let's go do something. There was, doesn't even flinch over there.